All right, guys, I'm digging this new format, so I'm gonna stick with it. Starting the video with the hood and trunk up just helps me to move around within the constraints of the building a lot faster, a lot less editing on my part, so I can get these videos posted much, much quicker. 1967 Chevy Impala 327 car. As you can see right off top, this car has got a custom paint. I don't know if that's picking up in the camera, but she's got a lot of pearl to it. New top, newer top. No rips, frays, tears, glass black back window. Don't know why I can't get my words out today. Car has been painted, so they've already gone in and cleaned up where all of these old cars get the surface rust, where the stainless mounts to the trunk lid. This vehicle was parked here yesterday around 5.30. It is, that was Friday, today is Saturday. It's around three o'clock. So we're gonna be doing a cold start on this car. We'll crank it up and let the top down and then we'll get deeper into the walk around video. get into it again custom paint if you can see the flakes very very minimal flaws and when I say that I mean minimal there's this spot right here and it is the only thing that I see going around this vehicle it's got great chrome Driver quality stuff, not perfect, just got some hazing. Brand new rally wheels and tires, new trim rings, new center caps. But there's really nothing. If I wanna nitpick things, I'll show you something that I would nitpick. See the bright work there. But the bumpers are excellent upper and lower. So about nitpicking, right here, the alignment on this hood hinge just slightly off. I would replace it at some point, but not right off top. Right works, the header panel are all in excellent shape. The previous owner stopped midway through the interior restoration. Front seat covers, carpet, door panels are all brand new. They look amazing. Your door jams. Your bottoms of the doors, cab corners. Now, back seat, 
he didn't do. He did where the quarter glasses go. New parade boot to match, but he never covered the back seat. Not quite sure what happened there, um, but I am going to take care of that before this car goes out. I've got a uh, vinyl guy who will come in and color match this. So this will be much, much closer, if not exactly the same color uh, when you see this car again. And we're gonna try to maybe hit that dash pad as well. Other than that, some flaking on the paint on the steering wheel. Nice Chevy wooden steering wheel. I'm looking to see if there's anything I can point you. There's a little ripple on a spot there. But that's it. And there's a little paint crack right there. Door jams. I'm sorry, cab corner. Door jams. Bottoms of the doors. I'm gonna try to clear a lift off and get this thing on a lift so we can get a look up underneath. That'll be it for this 1967 Chevy Impala. All right, let's get a look up underneath this 1967 Chevy Impala. This is gonna be my first go round. So bear with me guys. Frame extensions in good shape. First glance, floor pans all seem to be nice. The rears look like they were dropped in from the top, as you can see. So somebody's been in there and replaced them. Driver and passenger side, rear pans are replaced. Passenger side, front pan is perfect. Driver side, front pan was dropped in as well. is in great shape does have a little surface on it but it's par for the course with these old cars they didn't do a great job taping off when they painted so there's a lot of white there but frame extensions are excellent one thing i will tell you that i noticed when I put this car up in the air, right at the bottoms of the quarters, you can see where they ended their filler. But, and that's just me pointing things out. But that's it, 1967 Chevy Impala.